Council met on Monday, November 23rd. It was a busy agenda, and here are the highlights. We received the minutes of the advisory committees and the BIA. The 2021 capital budget was approved by Council. This is an important investment in Scugog's assets and is part of our long-term asset management program for roads, facilities, and equipment. Visit scugog.ca slash budget for details on the projects identified in 2021 and the forecast for 2022 to 2025 capital forecast. Two Blokes Cidery received approval to add a tasting room and retail facility to their farm. Congratulations to Two Blokes Cidery. Great news for Scugog and tourism opportunities in the future. On Monday, November 23rd, Durham Region Scugog moved to the red control level. This has required all municipal facilities to address new regulations and public access. At the municipal office, services are available by appointment only, and you are encouraged to conduct your municipal business via telephone, email, or a virtual meeting with the applicable staff. Appointments can be made if necessary. All services are available via alternate service delivery methods. Scugog Community Recreation Center requires all people attending the facility to have a reservation. To see the complete list along with screening requirements and contact details, visit scugog.ca slash COVID.19. COVID-19 has had a dramatic impact on all of us. I ask that we all remember to be kind and patient to our frontline workers. The person serving you coffee, takeout, or at the front doors, or cash register are not making the rules, but they are responsible for enforcing them. As well, be kind to our health care workers and volunteers who put themselves at risk to test for COVID-19, who treat us in the clinics and our hospital. With the holiday season upon us, I would like to share a few options for you and your family this Christmas season. Please keep in mind COVID-19 provincial restrictions are in place and activities may be subject to change. We have a virtual Santa Claus parade December 5th at 5 p.m. on Scugog Chamber YouTube, scugogchamber.ca, Rogers TV, Cable 10 in Scugog, or Christmas Lights Contest. Register by December the 5th. Judging is December the 15th to the 21st. The winner will be notified December the 23rd. Visit scugogchamber.ca for details. Horse-drawn carriage rides, December 5th and 6th, December 12th and 13th, December 19th and 20th, and December 24th. Pick up at Titler's on Queen Street. Visit discover discoverportperry.ca for details. Santa's visits, December 3rd, 12th, and 19th. Titler's on Queen Street front porch. Visit discoveryportperry.ca for details. Scugog Arts Christmas Market, November 14th to January 2nd. Visit scugogarts.ca for details. Bakersville Virtual Gingerbread Houses, calling for your photos to be enjoyed through their Facebook page. This year we have created the Celebrate Your Community Hero Initiative. I call on my fellow councillors, residents, and business owners to send to us the name, picture, and story of a special person who's made a difference to you. Maybe it is a frontline health worker, a young volunteer that delivered groceries, or business owner that went above and beyond. There are so many everyday heroes that emerged through COVID-19. Through the month of December, visit my.scugog.ca to submit your community hero story. Every hero will be recognized by the township. Please remember to stay local and support local this season. Shopping local from the comfort of your home can be done through Durham Region's new online marketplace at shopdurhamregion.ca. Many wonderful Scugog shops and vendors are listed there and ready to serve you. Thank you, Scugog, for staying vigilant with COVID-19 keeping to your immediate families and heeding public health guidelines. Be well and keep safe.